Number 26. When non-metric units were used in the United Kingdom, a unit of mass called the pound mass was employed, where one pound mass is equal to 0 0.4539 kilograms. If there is an uncertainty of 0 0.0001 kilograms in the pound mass unit, what is its percent uncertainty? Okay, so um, sounds a little confusing, but it's not bad. Let's work with uh, what it's asking first. So it says, what is its percent uncertainty? All right, so uh, let's write down the formula for percent uncertainty. So percent uncertainty is equal to the uncertainty of the measurement divided by the measurement itself multiplied by 100. Okay, so we're looking to find the percent uncertainty. In order to find this, we need to know these two variables, okay? So we need to know the un uncertainty associated with the measurement and the measurement itself. So do we know those two things? Well, I mean, yeah, I think so, right? It says if there is an uncertainty of this many kilograms. So that value does tell us the uncertainty. Okay, so we have one of the two items we need. Now we just got to look for the measurement. So remember this one thing. Let me actually just plug it in for right now. So percent uncertainty okay, is equal to 0 0.0001 kilograms divided by a number that we need to use times 100. Now remember that the units here must be consistent. Okay, what I mean by that is if you have kilograms in the numerator, the kilo, there better be kilograms in the denominator, right? So the only other value in this problem that has kilograms in it is found in the conversion factor itself, right? It's found in this conversion factor. And this number right here is the kilogram. So what we can do is we can use this number as the measurement value, okay, and plug that in. So now let's do that. Let's plug in 0 0.5. 4539 kilograms. Notice the kilograms will cancel, and that's what should happen because percents are unit less. So let's do the division now 0 0.0001 divided by 0 0.4539. Multiply that by 100. So we get a value of approximately 0 0.02203, etc. Now, what we have to do is we're going to have to round this to one significant figure because of the one significant figure found in the numerator. Okay, so let's just round it. So it's gonna be 0.02%. Great, so that's the percent uns uh, uncertainty associated uh, with this pound mass unit. Okay, so that was part A. Now let's take a look at part B. So it says, based on that percent uncertainty, so meaning the percent uncertainty that we just calculated, what mass in pound mass has an uncertainty of one kilogram when converted to kilograms. Okay, so it sounds um, a little confusing, but let's try to pick it apart. So first I notice what they're giving me, right? So they're saying based on that percent uncertainty, and then they're asking now about a mass in pound mass, or they're saying what mass in pound mass has an uncertainty of one kilogram. So they're actually giving us an uncertainty value. So notice, do you, know, do you know a relationship between these two, percent uncertainty and uncertainty? Yeah, you might be thinking about, well, the formula. And you would be correct, right? So let's actually write that formula down. So we, I know we have it on the left, but it can never hurt to keep writing this down. It's a form of essentially forced memorization. So percent uncertainty is equal to the uncertainty found in the measurement divided by the measurement itself multiplied by 100. So the percent uncertainty we just calculated, right? It said to use that percent uncertainty, so it's 0.02%. That will equal now the uncertainty, right? Which they gave us was one kilogram. And oh, they're asking what mass, right? So, hmm, so this is actually my X value, right? My measurement itself, okay? Multiplied by 100. So now we do some math. I'm going to cross multiply, right? So it becomes 0.02x uh, equals 100. Divide out the 0 0.02. Divide out the 0 0.02. So now x, which remember represented the measurement, will now equal 100 divided by 0 0.002. Excuse me, 0 0.02. So that comes out to 5,000. So 5,000. 
Now I'm only going to, I'm not going to put a decimal in here, all right? Because if I do, that means that I have four significant figures. But if I leave the decimal out, that means I have only one significant figure. And since I have one significant figure in my calculation, I'm going to leave it at this. Now consider what the units are. Remember, the one, the value of one in the equation represented one kilogram. And I just mentioned before that these units have to be consistent between the numerator and the denominator. So what that means is that the value of 5,000 is the value in kilograms. Okay, now this is the value that is associated uh, with a one kilogram uncertainty. 5,000 kilograms. Okay, but is that what we wanted? Well, it said what mass in pound mass? Hmm, well, this isn't in pound mass, it's in kilograms. But we can easily convert that to pound mass because they gave us the conversion, right? So that's the last part here. So we're gonna take the 5,000 kilograms and convert that into uh, pound mass, LB, LBM. Okay, so write down what you're given, 5,000 kilograms, right? Kilograms go on the bottom, pound mass goes on the top, and write in the uh, relationship. So one pound mass is equal to 0 0.4539 kilograms. Great, kilograms will cancel. And now just plug it into the calculator, right? So it's 5,000 divided by 0 0.4539. And that works out to a value of about 11,015. Well, 16 if I round there, but um, it's going to be much, right? I have five significant figures here. I can't have five um, because my the number with the least had only one. Uh, excuse me, that, that one also has one, but really this is what's controlling the, because uh, this is a measured uh, value. So I can only have one significant figure. Um, so it actually be, the answer would be 10,000 without a decimal. L, B, M. Kind of fell off the page there a little bit, but I think you, I think you uh, can read that hopefully. Mm -hmm. So, and that would be the final answer. Okay, so hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And if it helps you in any way, please do subscribe. Until next time.